Howdy folks, hope you're all having a great weekend and welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters where in this episode we will be continuing Brother Interceptor Isad's Crash Course Education on Demon Killing 101 because we really value him and like him and think he's good and it has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with the fact that we need to have a Fallen Knight in order for Paladin Fool to commune with the Fallen and respect his talent points because that would be wasteful. <laughs> what can I say? In the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, life is cheap. Silver dolls, shall we play together? And yeah, we're just jumping straight in. Hello brother, you seem to have found some plague guard. <laughs> Sorry, death guard. It's so easy to get those two mixed up. A couple of Plague Terminator, and we are just jumping straight into this mission, obviously. Brothers, stand ready. Well, brother, what's that? A uh, hazard field? And a Plague Champion with a defensive zone? Yeah, it'll be fine, you've got this. I have actually remembered to equip the grenades, and while he's still in the position to actually use them, I'm going to use them. Now this grenade should inflict Feel the crazed state on anybody hit by it, but the uh, Plague Champion at the back resisted. The Death Guard Marine with a Hazard Sprayer in front of him, however, should turn around and start attacking his enemies. Although they're almost certainly going to be immune to his Hazard Spray attacks, but hey, whatever, it's a thought that counts. So, because I'm not really planning on Interceptor Isad surviving to the end of this battle, we're just going to blow all of his willpower here. Oh, hang on a second, I have an idea. Yes, brother. You will be hit by the explosion. What are you, some kind of pansy elder? Get on with it. <laughs> Pain is just weakness leaving the body. Right, Isad is spent. Um, the rest of the guys, well, you know, do I really have to do anything? I'm sure Isad has this, you know, he, he, it's looking good. We have every confidence in your abilities, brother. Crack on. Maybe we'll shoot this guy a little. Go on, Ilanthus. Help the brother out. Whoa, steady on, not too much. Don't go spending any willpower on him. <laughs> You're probably going to need that for later. There goes the reaction fire. Oh, you know what? That wasn't too bad. The rest of the squad are way too far away to offer anything other than moral support, but they're all more than happy to cheer his hat on. Because that's all they can do. <laughs> it's almost like I set everything up this way. <laughs> it's almost like I teleported this ad so far ahead that he would safely be able to engage this patrol without anybody else in the squad being in any kind of danger whatsoever. Oh, come on, brother, get up, walk it off. <laughs> Hang on, what's this guy doing? This was the guy who actually got hit by the crazed affliction from the psychotrope grenade. What the hell? Is... That's not how that's supposed to happen. He's supposed to randomly attack his teammates. Well, Ilanthus' armor took the auto cannon. And why that guy didn't attack is sad, because he's the closest enemy, I have no idea. Let me check this guy out. He is crazed, isn't he? Yes, he is. There it is. It says it right there randomly attacks their allies. Do we look like your allies, Sunshine? My blade is ever ready. I shall be Stand. writing a sternly worded letter of complaint to the armourer and demanding a refund on that psychotrope grenade. Right, anyway, it's out. Get in there. I must Nobody said you could slack off. Your job is not done. No devil shall elude my game. Oh, brother, you're going to have to do better than that. Oh, well, I guess the rest of the squad can clean up this mess for you. Um, yeah, I want to take out the guy with the auto cannon. And this charge, well, if it wasn't in Terminator armor, it would have knocked him back, but it, it crosses the distance and does a bit of damage. So that Iolanthus is close enough to smack him up with this rather nice new force halberd. Yeah, we'll force strike this, smack this guy up for six damage. And now then. Interceptor Storm. Actually, no, we'll take care of this fella first. Librarian Foros, off you go. Yeah, he's got plenty of willpower to spare. 
two hits. We'll disable the ranged weapon in case he survives this, but I'm not expecting him to. Yep, second full strike. Finishes off the Death Guard Marine. Now then, Brother Interceptor is sad. Are you paying attention? Are you watching? This is how it's done. Interceptor Storm, off you go. Keep watching, noob. You might learn something. There we go. Right. Oh, by the way, this is a Bloom Spawn Spreader mission, so taking down the events extends the timer that I have in order to actually get to and destroy the Bloom Spawn, which is over here. Oh, the Spreader. There are two Bloom Spawns on this mission as well, but you don't need to destroy those in order to complete. So, next group of enemies, please. Off you go, Interceptor. Oh, they're right there. How convenient. <laughs> Right, we're all going to stack up back here. We're going to cheer you on. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Huh. Feeded bloat drone and a bunch of plague bearers. That's actually a pretty nasty combination. Good news, the feeded bloat drone has... Well, it, it, th th these big mechanicals tend to be stupid. Right? Their, their pathing will often lead them straight through an explosive hazard in order to get to you. Right. So that's good but it's also going to make it tricky to get into melee in order to kill it. Also, it's done something. That, uh, I believe, is... It's a counter to any ranged attack. If you shoot that thing with that zone around it, it counter-attacks in a big way. But that's all right. Interceptor is sad. Wasn't planning on shooting anything. Hang on a minute, Jingles. I'm Manitan Bitter. This isn't the spreader. This is one of the optional Bloom Spawn side quests. Well, yeah. I was just going to go straight to the spreader and have done with it, but then I realised, hang on, Isad hasn't died yet. <laughs> so that's why I'm tackling one of the Bloom Spawns. I mean, normally, I would have just run Librarian Forest up to the spreader, gotten line of sight, Gate of Infinity, everybody over there to it and then you know mission over but interceptor is sad hadn't suffered any critical wounds so that's why we're tackling one of these side missions it makes perfect sense if you think about it you know if you're a cold-blooded heartless bastard <laughs> it's all very logical actually i thought about expending some willpower and using the vortex of doom but one they're out of range and two nah <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Forrest does actually have the willpower to spare. Um, he's only going to need five to do the Gate of Infinity to the Spreader once it gets spotted, but... What can I say? Waste not one pot. Okay, the Feet of Bloat Drone is doing its fly up into the air and drop down and blast everything. Saying, there it is! Oh, come on, brother, get on your feet. What are you, some kind of pansy Eldar wimp? You're a marine. Of course, everybody stops just short of the overwatch. Oh wait, no! Fantastic! Right, wow, overwatch actually worked. This is starting to become a habit. So, uh, I've got two plague bearers. I mean, there's still the feet of bloat drone as well, but it's currently sitting in orbit. And of course, the bloom spawn itself. Brother Interceptor is sad, is down. Tis but a scratch, however, he will be back up uh, and partially recovered from his critical injury in a couple of turns. And I do love how um, <laughs> Brother Librarian Forrest's Gate of Infinity oh. teleports this ad's body around as well. Right, anyway, intercept the storm. Show them how it's done. What's that, Jingles? You're using a warp charge teleport strike on a single target. Isn't that very wasteful? Well, yeah, but he's got plenty of willpower. Plus, teleporting to the target costs an action point and doesn't do any damage. The teleport strike does do damage. And this thing does need to die right now. So, Librarian Foros. Um, yeah, that'll do. Vortex Doom finishes off the Bloom Spawn and critically injures the Plague Bearer. Uh, there is one other Plague Bearer though, yes, down there. Huh. Got one action point left. Yeah, we'll smite this guy. 
We're just going to shoot the guy who's standing in the flames. There we go, Iolantus, finish him off. Brother Interceptor is stabbed. Stop malingering, wake up and pay attention. You might actually learn something here. Although the only thing he's likely to learn is never trust Commander Jingles when you get selected for special duty, fake an illness. <laughs> Hope he picks somebody else. Right. Yeah, we're just going to fall back and set up Overwatch. Try to... Oh, it does, of course. We still haven't I've completely forgotten about the bloke drone. So, fine. We're not quite done. Hopefully we're far enough away that the Plague Bearer will not have enough action to get to us. And, oh shit, that... I really don't like those things. Because their attacks are all armor-piercing. It doesn't matter how much bonus armor you've got stacked. Whether you've got an Aegis shield up or not, it just goes right through. Hurts you anyway. And I don't know what is going on down there, but it sounds disgusting. There's the Dacker. Oh, he did have enough action to get a strike in as well. This is... Uh, this is not how things are supposed to work. And here's the warp surge. Plague bearers will rise from court. Oh, shit. Yeah, I took a bit of a chance uh, picking the squad for this mission because I've got no apothecary. I've gone very... Basically, the idea here is that we get to the objective. Brother Foros teleports everybody yes, in. And when I say everybody, I basically mean intercept the storm. And then he wins the mission for us. But that is a very high risk strategy. Because if you do take any injuries, there's no apothecary around to heal you. I mean, obviously Brother Sad is going to take injuries. And I don't care that there's no apothecary around to heal him. But the rest of the squad, the rest of the squad are actually quite valuable. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I don't want you all getting the wrong idea about me. Right, anyway, those things on the ground are going to spawn fresh enemies in the next turn if I don't deal with them. And I still have this bloat drone to kill. This actually got real serious real fast. Um, I don't know if the Vortex of Doom is going to deal with the things that are going to spawn enemies. Damn, well, that's one way to find out. No, it is not. It's hurt the bloat drone, though. Um... That thing really does need to die because it gets some really nasty area of effect attacks that I cannot afford to deal with. So, uh, the trick is usually to get Intercept the Storm in there. He, he, there's, there are very few things in this game that survive an introduction to Intercept the Storm. Particularly with Iolanthus around to back him up. And Iolanthus is around to back him up. So, yep. It's time for Honor the Chapter. Actually, you know, I think I'm going to do it on the Librarian. There we go, son. You have some action points and some bonus willpower. So, over there. Oh, that was... Oh, shit, I still had Iolanthus selected. Of course I did. Uh, I was going to use Iolanthus' last action point for something else. Oh, well, I've done it now. Yeah, when you honor the chapter on a marine, make sure you select that marine immediately because you will still have your Justicar selected if you don't. And your Justicar will go and do whatever it was that you wanted that marine to do. Uh, which is what happened there. And that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, well, it's done now. Anyway, Foros. Now selected. Well... By default because he's the only marine left standing with any action points so i'm going to move him up to here this will leave two action points remaining and two cybolt storm bolter shots will be enough to do the 10 damage required to finish off that featured blow drone there's one five health remaining I needed to get him to medium range, otherwise he would have lost one damage from the Storm Bolter for range penalties. Right. Anyway, let's... Wait, are we still waiting around for Isad? Where? That lazy bastard. On your knees, Marine. You can't sleep here, Jack. We've got a spreader to worry about. Fucking hell. Millennials, right? I'm here to serve. Oh. Finally. So glad you could join us, brother. I do hope we weren't keeping you from anything important. Off you go. The grandfather needs my prayers. It is an enemy 
Detected. Demons. Nurgle will not give up this ground so easily. Destroy that Bloomspawn now. Brothers, I have detected the enemy. Their numbers are overwhelming and reinforcements are arriving as we speak. Brothers, I've discovered the enemy. Well, crack on, Lofty. <laughs> what are you waiting for? A written invitation? Get in there and fuck them up. Um. Okay, brothers. Don't worry, I'm sure you've got this. My focus fails me. Oh, they're big buggers, aren't they? <laughs> oh, he'll be fine. No, really, he will be fine, because there's no point. I mean, aside from the comedy value, there's no point in getting the same Marine critically injured twice in the same mission, because they'll only ever lose one point of resilience. So, yeah, I mean, we're going to take the spreader down before those Plague Terminators get a chance to stomp all over Interceptor is sad. Gate of Infinity with Librarian Foros. Honor the chapter on Killing Machine Extraordinaire Interceptor Storm, courtesy of Justicar Iolanthus. Yeah, we'll walk charge it. We probably won't need to. And then Interceptor Storm. Well, actually, Iolanthus still has a spare action point, so we may as well use it. I mean, there's some pretty serious damage with this force halberd as well. Um, and we get to do it twice. Actually, no, we'll hammer hand crit it. Bonus damage. There we go. There's nothing you can actually disable on a spreader, so anytime you get a crit, it's just bonus damage. Step forward, Interceptor Storm. Interceptor is sad. Pay attention, noob. He'll probably learn something. Yeah, I know I'm doing a warp charge teleport strike on a target that's right in front of me, but... It does damage, and walking up to it doesn't, so, yeah. Hammer hand crit, more bonus damage, one more regular strike. I mean, I'll force charge it anyway, not that I need to. Victory! A battle well fought and won, Commander. We have dealt the enemy a major blow today. Indeed we have, Brother Hector. And more importantly, Brother Isad has lost another resilience point. Two to go, and he will be a fallen brother. And Paladin Thule will be able to commune with him in the Pothecarium in order to respec his talents points, because let's not lose track of what's really important here. I wouldn't casually throw a brother marine aside just for shits and giggles, you know? Well, okay, I totally would. <laughs> but this is actually happening for a good reason. Well, it's good enough for me. And on that bombshell, that is it for the day. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're all having a great weekend. And as always, be pure, be vigilant, behave.